Joining me in studio is a good friend of mine and former Alouette and a football player, Etienne Goulet. Welcome to the show. Good morning. I'm happy to be here. So happy to be here. Every time my friends come, I always... <laughs> We're always it's, we're going to be doing this in English. In English, yeah, it's, a bit, right. uh, it's a bit funny. Absolutely. So listen, uh, you're a father of uh, uh, you just got a daughter, yeah. Anna. Uh, you have a almost three year old son yeah. and a five year old stepson. That's right. We're talking fatherhood, of course. Father's Day is coming up this yeah. weekend, and how to be involved with your kids and why it is so important to do so. Absolutely. Well, you know what's funny is that uh, there's a funny statistic that that was an interesting statistic that was brought to my attention is that there's. 125 single fathers out there in Quebec raising their child. And, uh, and you know, in Quebec, there's a, a high, high rate of blended families, and I fit that statistic. Uh, so for me, it was important to get involved and try to tell fathers out there to, to get involved with their kids' health, uh, with, with, the vaccine, with the vaccines for their child and, right. and all that stuff. Because I get involved with, you know, I, I co-host a show on VRAC TV. Uh, called testers. It's a show to get kids uh, a lot. It's, uh, it's interested. A, or kids oriented uh, channel. Yeah, absolutely. And and every, everything I do is uh, is very very kid oriented. All the community stuff I get involved in and and try to raise uh, awareness in in uh, being active, uh, living a healthy lifestyle. Um, you know, and, and having now the dads being involved with, with the kids' health is something very crucial. And you took part in a leisure marketing survey yeah. about this. So tell us a little bit well, about the process. You know what's funny is that 99% of these dads were asked uh, if they were involved, if, if they were up to date with the kids' uh, their, their kids' health. And 99% of their dads said yes. Uh, but when we were asked further questions, only 17% uh, could answer uh, you know, uh, specifically uh, things uh, as far as the vaccines went. Okay. So, uh, so we kind of asked ourselves, okay, that, that there, there's improvements to be made there. So, so that's why I'm here today with Father, uh, Father's Day coming up on Sunday uh, to try to tell fathers that there's a way to get involved. Oftentimes fathers have to go back to work earlier than the mothers. Right. And it's part of life. They're going to miss probably more appointments than, than the moms will. But there's a way to, to be up to date by being informed in what's been given to your kids, what's being offered, and right. communicating with the mom and with the doctors out there. And the physical activity with the kids yeah. is something also that you're very, very keen Absolutely. On. I'm part of the WICS program, which is... Uh, uh, which has been built by Quebec en Forme, and uh, we try to go out there and tell kids to stay active. There's a big drop in, in physical activity in our Unfortunately, teenagers. Unfortunately, yes. Yeah, so we're trying to, to uh, uh, pinpoint uh, pre-teenagers to try to, uh, so, so that they can go up to, uh, to their teenage years with, with good and, and healthy it, habits. And it becomes a habit, that's, that's right. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know what it is, to, to train and go out there. It's good for their mental, uh, mental health. It's you good just for their confidence. Exactly. All right, so uh, of course, this is a great, great initiative. I have to talk football with yeah, you a little bit. Absolutely. Uh, you know, you had a, an amazing career, multiple uh, great cups uh, in, your, in your time. I'm just happy, just recently we found out there will be a CFL season. Yeah. They have come to an agreement, not the agreement that the players wanted. Yeah. Uh, so tell me what your, what's your opinion? How did you feel <sighs> about this whole process? You know what, they were, they were miles away from an agreement. And, and I think that probably the pressure got to the players. Uh, I know certain players, uh, one of my good friends, Marc Olivier Brouillet from, from the Alouettes. Is, and we had him on is, the show as well. Yeah, he's very unhappy about what's going on. Um, it's, it's, it's a tricky situation because for the past years, uh, players have been told by, by the league, you know, uh, take one for the team this time. Next CBA, right. uh, we're going to give it back to you. So this is the time where the players had to stand together. I think they did a good job, uh, but I think the pressure of the season coming up. Also, remember, football players were only getting paid during the season, whether it's NFL or CFL. And it's so a short season. It's a short season. So for six months of the year, if you haven't put money aside, you're, you're, you can't wait for the season to start to get your first paycheck. Oh, yes. So maybe, oh, I think boy. maybe some of that pressure got to, to some players. Oh boy, okay. Yeah. Well, we're happy there's going to be a season. Yeah, Quickly absolutely. tell me what you're up to. What's the next project for you now? I got a bunch of things going on. We're still shooting for, uh, for the show testers. I got a bunch of other uh, cool TV projects uh, that are standby. So, uh, so hopefully I can come back and talk to you more about this. You definitely will. It's yet so happy you came by. And great you. initiative uh, with the young ones. Fathers out there. Pay attention uh, to all the needs, health, physical activity, so important. And Father Day's, Father's Day is coming up. Spend some time with your kids and uh, initiate those, uh, those motions. Absolutely. All right, we'll take a short break on Breakfast Television. We'll be right back on City.